Hi ladies, I am Zandra, Agnes and Dora Independent Rep and the owner of Zandra Xanadu. Um, happy to have you with me today. Um, today we are going to talk a little bit about becoming a rep with Agnes and Dora or any clothing line. It can be a very tough decision to make because it's not a it's not a small investment money-wise or even time-wise. Um, so you've heard of LuLaRoe or Agnes and Dora, Honey and Lace, My Amelia James, one of the many, many companies that are out there and you wanna know if this is right for you. So today we're gonna talk about my top five tips on is this the right business for you? So here we go. Number one, do you have the money to make the investment? Minimum investment with most of these companies is going to be from three to $5,000, if not more. And that just buys your initial inventory. You will still need to buy some supplies afterwards. Um, just depends on the company as to what those supplies are, but because I'm with Agnes and Dora, I'm going to talk about Agnes and Dora. We have two different um, packages. One is 3,500 and one is 5,000. Like I said, that just gets you your opening inventory. You still have to pay a $49 uh, enrollment fee and you also have to pay for shipping. So if you're just scraping by with $3,500, um, just know it's gonna cost you more than that. Plus you'll still need envelopes and um, packing supplies, all that kind of stuff. You'll still need a lot of things. You need to not only make sure you have the money to invest in the business but the time. Um, it takes a lot of time, it really does. I do this as a full-time job, my husband does as well, um, but I work way more than full-time hours, I promise. Um, it is getting better the more well-known I am, but I have been doing this for a year and I work really hard pretty much every single day. And I can tell if I take a couple of days off, I don't make any money. <laughs> So you have to keep being out there. You have to keep advertising. You have to keep going. Uh, one of the things that you'll need to know is, are you gonna do this in home, online, or both? If you're just gonna do in home, then you really are gonna have to work on your local friends, family, and community because you can make a lot of money. There's a lot of ladies that do this just from home, but you're gonna need to know people. If you're not real outgoing and don't talk to a whole lot of people, it's gonna be very hard for you to do this pretty much period. Um, but if you're doing it all in home, you have to talk to people all the time. Uh, I do mostly online because I am really good at it <laughs> and I like it. Um, I don't like getting dressed every day. I'm a stay at home mom. And um, for me, it's kind of nice not to have to go to work every day and get dressed up every day. So online for me is a little better. Um, if it's two o'clock in the morning or if it's two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm still in my pajamas, it's okay. Um, but you have to be able to know that your time investment is going to be just as much, probably more than your money investment. It's going to take some time. You will not open your shop the first day and make your money back. It's possible, but probably not gonna happen. Um, it's tough, it's tough to make a living and it's tough to be in direct sales period, but even more to be a clothing retailer. There are so many different um, companies out there. Everybody's style and taste is different. So you kind of have to find your niche um, and find your place in the world. And if you kind of don't know who you are, that's gonna be the first thing that you need to do is figure out how you're gonna go about it. Um, how are you going to make yourself stand out from all of the other people? So just a quick recap. First thing is, do you have enough money? Second thing is, do you have enough time? Are you going to be outgoing enough? So those are the first three tips. The last two is, are your family on board? Is your family on board? You, I'm never gonna tell you <laughs> 
to ignore your children to work your business. There are companies out there that do. There are sponsors out there that do. I will never do that. Your family comes first and that's what you need to do first. Period. End of story. Um, I'm lucky that my husband stays home and that he helps me with our children. If, he, if it wasn't for him, I probably couldn't do this full time because uh, he takes on a lot of the, the house responsibilities as I'm selling. There's very often I'm up till two or three o'clock in the morning um, working on sales or advertising, different things like that. So you have to make sure your family's on board because if your husband is already kind of like, mm, I don't know, or you know that you have, you know, 30, 40 hours a week that you have to devote to your children and that um, you're not going to be okay having a live sale and sitting them in front of the TV some nights, I mean, that's something you have to know and be ready to do. My fifth suggestion on if you really want to do this is, do you own the clothes? Do you love the clothes? If you don't, it makes it so much harder. It really does. If you're trying to pick a company and you look at what they have to offer and the prints aren't you or the styles aren't you, the cuts or designs, and look at a company as a whole, not just one or two styles. Look at it as a whole. Um, I do not love everything Agnes and Dora makes. I wish I did, but I don't. Some of it's just not my style. Um, but overall, I love our prints. I love our designs. I love our styles. I love how that it's comfortable for me. If you don't love it, it's going to be way hard for you to sell it. If you do, it's so much easier. Um, because you can be real and honest with people. And if you're not going to wear it out in public, then don't even bother because you are your best advertisement. So those are my top five tips. If you have any questions, of course, you can ask me below and you can see my full inventory at www.zandrazanadu.com. This is our five tips for on if you're considering selling clothing line. Bye.